In fourth place, Gryffindor with 312 points. You both realize, of course, that in the past few hours, you have broken perhaps a dozen school rules. Yes, sir. And there is sufficient evidence to have you both expelled. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Therefore, it is only fitting that you both receive special awards for services to the school. You know the laws, Miss Granger. You must not be seen. And you would do well, I feel, to return before this last chime. I assure you that were you in Slytherin and your fate rested with me, the both of you would be on the train home tonight. As it is, they are not. With 472 points, Slytherin House. Yeah! Yes, yes, well done, Slytherin, well done, Slytherin. However, recent events must be taken into account, and I have a few last-minute points to award. Mrs. Norris, you've murdered my cat. Oh, no. I'll kill you. I'll kill you! Argus! Argus, I... Professor Dumbledore. Professor McGonagall. Headmaster. These boys have flouted the decree for the restriction of underage wizardry. As such. I am well aware of our bylaws, Severus, having written quite a few of them myself. To Miss Hermione Granger, with the cool use of intellect, while others were in grave peril. 50 points. Second, to Mr. Ronald Weasley, for the best played game of chess that Hogwarts has seen these many years. 50 points. However, as head of Gryffindor House, it is for Professor McGonagall to determine the appropriate action. And third, to Mr. Harry Potter, for pure nerve and outstanding courage. I award Gryffindor House 60 points. Innocent until proven guilty, Severus. We're tied with Slytherin. And finally, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies, but a great deal more to stand up to your friends. I award 10 points to Neville Longbottom. <laughs> Assuming that my calculations are correct, I believe that a change of decoration is in order. Gryffindor wins the House Cup. <laughs>